Hello my very most beautiful Capricorns. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your May Who is Coming Towards You reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Capricorns, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Capricorns' energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. Got the Wheel of Fortune. And the King of Pentacles. So, somebody wants to move forward with you. They see very long term potential here. Okay. Um, I, I do feel like they're coming into it with an energy of commitment, but they want some kind of stability. And maybe you guys are, you know, not in a stable place right now. Maybe you guys are in separation, or maybe you guys just haven't made that level of commitment yet, but that's something that they want. They're ready to move forward with that. Show me this person's thoughts. What's going on in their thoughts when it comes to Capricorn? Four of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. So some of you guys could be... If this is a past person, then some of you guys could be in, in um, no communication or very little communication. Things could be very stagnant between you and this person. Now, they do. They see you as what they want for the very long term. King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. You know, they want this, okay? And I do feel like they want to move forward. Okay, they want to either if you guys are if you if this is somebody that you are together with, okay, if this is somebody that you're dating, you know, they definitely want to move things forward with you. The four of swords is maybe they've been keeping that to themselves. Um, maybe they haven't expressed that. Maybe that's something that they've been holding in. So let's take a look at their heart space, their feelings. Show me this person's feelings. Sorry about that, guys. The number's mowing. So let's take a look at their feelings. How do they feel about Capricorn at this time? Got the full card. They want a new beginning. They want to take a chance. The Ten of Swords. I definitely feel like, for a lot of you guys, I was feeling like this is a past person. Okay. Um, yeah, you got two tens here. So something has been brought to a completion, but they want a new beginning. They want to start all over. They want to come back with this with brand new energy. They, they're ready to come in very committed. Okay. Um, some of you guys could be in communication with this person, but very little. And they're just ready to move forward. Okay. I, I do feel like they could be even getting a little bit impatient. For those of you where you guys are in no communication, they, are, they want to move back towards you. I wonder what the issue is. So let's take a look and see what are their true intentions. Show me this person's true intentions when it comes to Capricorn. The Five of Pentacles. And the Devil card. They have not been able to move on. Um, you know, that's one of the things that is kind of pulling them back in or making them want this or making the, them see the value of things. Because the Ten of Pentacles can, can sometimes be what we value the most. Um, and, I, and I do. I feel like they've really spent some time. The Four Swords can be looking within and figuring out what they really truly value. And I feel like that's something that's been on their mind. Okay. And that could be what is pushing them. So there's something about this like ending here and the, the loss of you. They've been really missing you here. And they have not been able to move past it. Okay, this is your energy, Capricorn. So I do feel like this is just saying that they are feeling very lost without you, very lonely without you. And there's something about this ending here that is what has caused them to really reflect on uh, what they truly value, what they really want moving forward. Um, and, and now they're ready. If they were not, if they were non-committal before, if they weren't ready, if there was no stability, that's a, they, they are ready now, okay? And it's like taking this ending, it's taking whatever happened here between the two of you for them to really have these realizations. Now... Also with this energy, I do feel like they could be ready to leave behind some of their past toxic traits and habits, okay? They could be intending on leaving like their old ways behind. What actions will they be taking? Will they be taking any actions? 
Three of Pentacles. So a lot has been put on display for them. Um, you know, what they value the most, what they need to work on within themselves, um, what they want to accomplish and work on and build with you. And the Heyman, yeah, they've got a whole new perspective on um, this connection and on themselves. There's a lot that's been put on display for them. I, the, none of these are big action cards, though. I still feel like there's something holding this person back. And we're going to take a look and see. What, show me what blockages this person has as, has towards coming towards Capricorn. What blockages are there? The Queen of Cups. So they're really missing you and they're really in their feelings about it. They could get in their own way. The Two of Cups, or the Lover's card. I almost said the Two of Cups. So the Lover's card um, and the Three of Cups. They want this. Uh, so I don't really see any major blockages except them maybe being too in their feelings and getting in their own way. Okay? Because um, this is truly what they want. The, the Queen of Cups is them missing you. The Three of Cups, you know, that's a reconciliation of coming back together. They do feel a very intense, strong connection with you. And, you know, the Lover's card can also be a card of value. It can also be, you know, um, a card at being at a crossroads. I feel like it used to be called the crossroads. Um... So I do, I feel like this person's at this place in their life now where they're they're realizing their mistakes, they're realizing what they have to let go of, they're realizing what they've lost, and now they have to figure out what to do about it, but I do feel like they are very in their feelings. We're going to grab another deck. Yeah, they've gained a lot of clarity, Queen of Swords at the bottom. We're going to grab another deck and take a look and see what your energy is towards them. Show me Capricorn's energy towards this person. Show me Capricorn's energy energy towards this person. I got the Knight of Wands. Mm. And the Ten of Swords. So yeah, you see this person as somebody who has been very inconsistent, hot and cold, or on and off, or somebody who has like player tendencies, okay? And that is why something ended. They could have betrayed you as well. There could have been a lot of betrayal, a lot of hurt that's happened here between the two of you. But you just see this person as somebody who's, you know, either a player or inconsistent. Selfish too is a word that's coming to mind. Show me what Capricorn's thinking. What are their thoughts when it comes to this person? The Five of Wands. You feel like it's a lot of drama. It's been a lot of conflict. The Seven of Wands. You're tired of that. You're ready to just block that out. You don't want the. You don't want to be dealing with this anymore. Um, you do not want the conflict. You don't want the drama. You don't want a, a connection where you're constantly having to worry about your partner. Okay, what are they doing? Who are they with? You know. All of that type of stuff. I feel like you're, you're getting to a space where you're just done with that. How do they feel about Capricorn? Or how does Capricorn feel about them? How does Capricorn feel about them? The Nine of Wands. You don't trust him. Queen of Swords. You're ready to put this behind you and welcome in something new. Yeah, the Emperor. You are taking back control because I do, I do feel like, you know, this person has put you through a lot. There's been a lot of drama, a lot of conflict, and a lot of pain, okay? And I feel like you're just kind of this energy of just being, you're just fed up. You don't want to go backwards. You don't want to, you don't want to do that anymore. What is this person's true intention, or what are Capricorn's true intentions towards this person? The Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're ready to let things move forward. They, wow. And the hangman. Okay, so yeah, you have a new per so they have a new perspective that and it's causing them like the lessons they've learned and the perspective they had has causing them to see your value and be ready to move forward. Um but the the progress and the growth and the clarity that you have is causing you to be ready to move forward in your life. You have a new perspective on the situation too. Um I just don't think that they're very aligned. What actions will Capricorn be taking? Any actions? The full card, so you're ready to have a brand new beginning too. And the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm going to say this. There are, for some of you guys, I'm sure there's somebody out there that does want to reconnect. And it can resonate with, you know, this person could come back and they could, you could see a different side of them and getting a new perspective 
and you could be willing to slowly giving them another chance. It can resonate that way if that is how, you know, if that is what you want to do, you guys have free will. I, I do more feel like for most of you it's resonating that you guys are, you know, the growth that you've had, the strength that you guys have stepped into, realizing that this is something that is just isn't best for you. I feel like a lot of you guys are getting a new perspective on yourself, your worth, what you want. And a lot of you guys are putting this behind you and ready to have a brand new beginning in life for yourself. Okay. We're going to grab another deck. We're going to take a look at what your biggest challenge is. We're going to look at what you don't see coming and some advice for you. Show me what Capricorn's biggest challenge is in this situation. The Eight of Pentacles. Don't allow this to take you off track or take you off your focus. I feel like a lot of you guys have put in a lot of work on yourself a lot of work in your life you've been really focused on other things making stuff happen you know don't let anything derail you um, from that and the lover's card so yeah there's definitely the challenge is also going to be a crossroads you know like we talked about before the lovers in back in the day and the way day used to be called the crossroads in some decks um you know like we said it's a it's a card of what you value and what is going to the way that you decide when you're at the crossroads how which path you take is which one is going to take you closer to who you're trying to be and where you're trying to go and which one is going to take you further away from it, okay? And we can't always go by what we want because sometimes what we want and what's best for us are not the same thing. Um, so that's that's how we choose at the crossroads. We figure out who we're, who we're trying to be and where we're trying to go and which one is going to get us closer and which one is going to take us further away from it. But we have the Eight of Pentacles here in the Lovers. I do feel like that's your challenge is somebody's coming in wanting to work on things and, and you have, you're at the crossroads, Capricorn. You have to decide. What doesn't Capricorn see coming this week? What doesn't Capricorn see coming? The Devil. You know, some of you guys could still feel very attached to this person. There could be some codependent stuff that comes up. The Ace of Wands. It's the word that my God just gave me is tempting. It is tempting. Um, the devil, the Ace of Wands, that's a very seductive energy. There is something about this person or the connection that you guys have that is very seductive. It kind of pulls you in. Um, So yeah, you guys have a major decision to make. You guys are at a crossroads here. What advice do we have for Capricorn? This new beginning is tempting for you guys. We have the moon energy. And the five of swords for the advice. So I, I do feel like you are being called to... Um, you know, the moon energy can ask us to really reflect on something, to take a, a deeper look within and, and to really reflect on something. And I do feel like there's a lot of mental confliction here. I feel like that's what the Five of Swords is representing. And, and the only way to really solve that is by really going within. So whether that's praying or meditating about it, um, you know, really just spend some time reflecting on that crossroads question, which, you know, who am I? Who am I trying to be? Where am I trying to go? Which one gets me closer? Which one takes me away? You know, there's deep reflection that's being asked of you here. And that's what's going to, it's like, that's the solution for the um, for the five of swords for that mental confliction for that back and forth energy. So that is what I have for you guys. If it resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most important, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.